Hi, I'm Eric Wong, the Product Marketing Manager for our USB Digital IP products here at Synopsys, and I'm here with... My name is Shailesh Kumani. I work at uh, USB 3 IP Group. And uh, you're the R&D guy. You're, you're specializing now in super speed interchip or SSIC for us, yes. is that right? And uh, we're doing this proof of concept demonstration today. Why are we doing this proof of concept? Uh, so the main reason was uh, specification. After point nine version, we wanted to make sure the specification is mature enough and there are no common scenarios and all that. Once we put the point nine version in the FPGA, we have found uh, many common scenarios. So that we are now fixing for the next 1.0 release of the specification. So that is helping us. So the hardware testing is necessary to make sure that point 0.9 is good, and that will be rolled into the specification for the next release. Exactly. OK, Shailesh, let's talk about the hardware. I see we've got a couple of our HAPS 51T-2s on the table. Uh, yes, exactly. Um, this two board swap uh, uh, is having a Vertex 5 PGA. OK. Uh, on, on this side of board, we have uh, standard synopsis host controller um, and uh, PCI controller plus uh, new fire adapter layer functionality um, built into FPGA. So this is the host controller and it looks like a host to a Windows 7 PC. Yes. Okay. So it is connected to the standard Windows 7 PC uh, running on MCCI host controller driver. Okay. And the interface is through PCI Express link. Okay. And on the right side we have our device controller? Uh, yes. It has also the same uh, standard synopsis device controller uh, interface to the Linux platform. Uh, with, the, with the PCI Express link, and uh, device controller is configured as a mass storage. So it looks like a giant flash drive, basically, exactly. on this side. Okay, and these blue cables, what do they do? Uh, if you see a real-world scenario, then mostly you will have uh, serial lines going across the chip. Uh, the serial lines carries mostly data or uh, line state information. So here we are putting it in a parallel where um, on one side of the cable we have a 36-bit uh, parallel data going out, 36-bit data going in. So it's somewhere around 72 bits for data path. And uh, line state information that we are transferring with three bits uh, in a digital form. So about 78 bits of data going back and forth over these blue cables. And yes. th this is actually where the SSIC traffic passes. Yes. OK, great. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the block diagram, and you can explain a little bit about uh, the setup in the block diagram. So in this diagram, the top portion contains the um, uh, first board uh, with the host controller. This portion is a device controller. So if you see on the host controller side, we have the standard host controller uh, uh, de design. Um, we are adding new fire adapter layer. This is a new functionality for SSIC. Uh, the main functionality of this fire adapter layer is to translate the pipe interface uh, transaction into the RMMI and RMMI back to pipe. Uh, this one is the M5 model that we have uh, that implements the digital functionality of M5. OK. so. Uh, it's our host controller with the new Phi adapter layer RTL with an M5 model, a MIPI M5 model. And then, the, where are the blue cables on this diagram? So this portion is a blue cable. Uh, you see TX, uh, this is a TX path, this is the RX path, where the data is transferred using the symbol and a parallel um, bus. And it looks like on the bottom then you have the same but opposite with the device controller the fire adapter layer and the M5 model, is that correct? Exactly. So device controller and then fire adapter, same functionality, just a change in the device controller. Great. So the top represents the left board and the bottom represents the right board? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, let's actually run the demo then. Uh, first, we're going to do a connect. Why is connect important in SSIC? Uh, mainly two reasons. One is low power uh, saving, like uh, just disconnect and then do low power. Okay. Uh, second one is uh, change of speed. If device wants to um, change a uh, speed, then you just disconnect and reconnect at a different speed. So it's used for saving power over changing speed. Now, when I hit connect, uh, the autoplay popped up a window. Yes. And that shows that we've got a drive. And now we've got um, some files here. We've got a file we can show a, a read from. And then we're going to do a we're going to do a copy to here now. And you can see that it does a real quick copy transfer. And then, uh, let's see, now we need to show that it's actually connecting as a device. So we're going to run the device manager here. And in the device manager, we have our um, PCI bus here. And we've got our um, PCI Express controller, which shows our USB 3 host controller. And we're going to open that up. And you can see here's the mass storage driver uh, running our mass storage device. So that's connected with SSIC, right? That's not yes. an actual. Okay, great. So you see now it's connected in Device Manager. 
Um, and then we're going to run the um, USB CV. Now, what is USB CV? Uh, this tool contains standard set of tests uh, to test the um, device compliance to standard specification. Uh huh. So this is uh, the compliance test, and I'm actually going to run. In this case, I'm going to run the. Uh, I'm actually going to run the USB two tests just to see what happens. If I run the USB two tests, it's going to fail. Why does it fail? This is SSIC demo, and it's all about super speed operation. It doesn't have any uh, USB 2.0 side uh, logic, so that's why this test is failing. Okay, now and then now I'm going to run the Chapter 9 USB 3 tests. And as I run these tests, these are the compliance tests. It recognizes it as a mass storage BOT class driver. As I run this, I can see the tests. Uh, there's some green showing up. What does the green mean? It means tests are passing and devices compliance uh, compliant to standard uh, USB 3 specification. I see. So it's passing the USB 3 compliance tests. Yes. Great. Uh, so you've seen our proof of concept uh, demonstrating super speed interchip. You've seen the host and the device talk to each other, uh, mass storage transfers, copy and, and uh, copies back and forth, files back and forth, and even compliance testing. Yeah, I just want to make sure, one uh, highlight one point. This demo is running on the standard XCI and device drivers, so there is zero change in the driver. Also, there is no change in the functionality above the link layer. I see. And, uh, okay, and also the Phi adapter layer is, is the new Phi adapter layer has been proven to work as well. Yes. Great. Thank you for watching.